Yo guys, how's it going and welcome back to another video. My name is Dario and today we are going to discuss the upcoming El Clasico between Real Madrid and FC Barcelona. First things first, this is the last opportunity for Barca to have a chance to win La Liga this season. If they don't, congratulations to Real Madrid. Even if Barca wins, they are still 5 points behind. And even then it will still be very difficult to win La Liga. But for Barca fans, this is more of a redemption match. The team has had quite the disappointing results this season, losing to Real Madrid for La Liga at home and in the Super Cup final. Losing against Girona, Villarreal at home, conceding 4 and 5 goals. And of course the recent defeat in the Champions League against PSG after things were going pretty well recently. This is one last chance to get the hopes up for the remainder of the season and to not feel as bad about the entire year. If Real Madrid win, they will be crowned champions because because there is no way Barca is coming back after being 11 points behind. Their season has been significantly better than Barca's with winning the Supercopa, being in the Champions League semi-finals and being the favorite to win the whole tournament and probably winning La Liga too. After the recent Champions League quarterfinals, the vibes of both camps are the complete opposite. Real Madrid are in a very good mood after beating Manchester City on penalties. Man City dominated the second leg. However, However, Real Madrid has this style of play and mentality that allows them to suffer which is the reason they managed to win huge games like these. A win against Barca on Sunday will be a great ending of their week and believe me, they are hungry for that because they can feel that Barca is in a vulnerable position. Barca has been in a poor situation after Tuesday's loss to PSG, with the fans blaming Araujo for the loss but also Xavi for taking out Lamin Jamal instead of Lewandowski for example. The team is even getting divided, with Gundogan saying that Araujo shouldn't have made that challenge and Araujo claiming that Gundogan shouldn't have said this and not agreeing that it was a mistake. These types of things are the worst things you can imagine before an El Clasico. It creates division and anger in the team and this will definitely result in the team performing worse. I hope that the so-called heavyweights in the team will step up and recognize that this is the last big game of the season and that they should stand together and win because that is something they owe all Barca fans. That is maybe the difference between this Barca and Real side. I know that Real Madrid is going all out and treat this game as a final because it practically is but Barca I don't know if they have recovered mentally from that loss and that is what can kill you in games like these. Real Madrid loves it when Barca is in a position like this. It would be the same the other way around. So I feel like they want to kill us on that pitch on Sunday. And if they get the chance, they will. We saw how easy it went in the Supercopa final and we don't want to repeat that again. Barca had no chance whatsoever in that game with Real Madrid being extremely effective. Vinicius scored his first hat-trick against Barca and Rodrigo scored as well. Lewandowski scored a 2-1 but Barca wasn't strong enough and the game ended in a 4-1 victory for Real Madrid. Araujo also got a red card in that match after a stupid foul on Vinicius. The last game in La Liga was the 2-1 victory of Real Madrid in the Montjuic Stadium. Barca actually dominated this match with Gundogan making it 1-0. It seemed a masterclass by Barca but Jude Bell Bellingham ruined this by an incredible goal in the 68th minute and later on scoring the winner in the last minute of the game. This was a very disappointing result and already showed that even though this Barca team plays good, they can easily throw it away too. The only advantage Barca has over this Real Madrid side currently is that they played on Tuesday and Real Madrid on Wednesday, playing 120 minutes. Real Madrid will probably get fatigued when the game is close in the second half half. So I believe they will try and go all out from the start. I think Barca will play with the same starting 11 as they did against PSG because this is the strongest squad they have currently. Or Xavi can decide to have more strength in defense by playing Christensen as a CDM. In the Supercopa final Barca gave away way too much space and the defensive line was way too high. I hope they learned from this and I think they will play similar as they did against PSG in the first leg with letting Real Madrid 
Madrid control more of the ball. I don't dare to make a prediction because anything can happen. I just hope it will be a good match and that Barca isn't discouraged after that loss and will put on a fair fight. That's all I'm asking for. For me it's just not about winning this game but more of competing and giving it all so that we can be proud of the team. And I think we all have to remember where we came from. This season also made me realize how good our performance was in La Liga last year and I think we can be more proud about that title than we already were. And for now we are going to see how the biggest game in the world is going to end this time. I believe it will be a great match as always. Let me know your thoughts and who is going to win this match. And don't forget to subscribe to my channel for more content and please like the video. Thank you for watching.